Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayuhal lazina aman, la tuqaddimu bayna yadayi Allahi wa rasulihi wa attaqu Allah, inna Allah samir alim. First verse of Surah Hujrat. O believers, do not put yourself forward before Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and fear Allah. Surely Allah hears and knows all things. Now the Shani Nuzul of the verse of the Quran will make this more clear. Some companions according to one tafsir, they fasted before the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They kept Rosa before Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And according to another tafsir, this verse of the Quran was revealed because some companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they sacrificed an animal before the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They did something before Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah says, O believers, لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله Do not exceed Allah and His Rasul. Tell me brothers, what did these companions do? Did they miss a namaz? Did they miss a rosa? Why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordering them in the Quran not to exceed Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? What were they doing? What did the companions do? They were worshipping Allah. They were fasting. Or they sacrificed an animal. Oh Allah, why are you ordering us not to do this? We're only worshipping you. It's an ibadah and you're telling us not to do ibadah? Allah says, no. You are worshipping Allah, but you are disrespecting Rasulullah. Ya Allah, but where is the disrespect? How dare you sacrifice an animal before my beloved? How dare you fast before my beloved? The other thing is, Allah says, do not exceed Allah. Now, what's, does Allah keep rose? Does Allah sacrifice an animal? Allah doesn't worship anyone. Oh Allah, why are you saying that do not exceed me? We can understand you saying that do not exceed my beloved sallallahu alayhi wasallam. But Allah says, do not do something before Allah. Oh Allah, the companions didn't do anything before you. They did it before Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Allah says, no, disrespecting my beloved is disrespecting me. You may think that we displeased Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. We didn't displease Allah. At least we are worshipping Allah. We are sacrificing an animal. We are fasting. So you may think that at least Allah is happy with us. So Allah applied Allah before Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam here. Allah says, لا تقدموا بين يدي الله ورسوله Because Allah says, doing taqaddum, doing something before Rasulullah is doing something before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is namaz more important or Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is zakat more important or Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is hajj more important or Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Is fasting more important or the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Sacrificing an animal more important or the respect of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Remember the adab and the respect of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that is more important than any other act of worship.